the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Many believers do not understand the role that prayer plays in the life of the believer and the role that the word plays in the life of the believer you will never be able to be a person of stature and balance and accuracy and efficiency until you understand the ministry of prayer and the ministry of the word both of them do not do the same thing they work together harmoniously in synergy to produce a victorious believer but prayer has its own ministry there are dimensions that prayer covers there are dimensions that the word covers the key is to understand that it is a combination of the ministry of prayer and the word that was the formula that the apostles left with us any deviation out of this formula will lead us into various shades of error we will give ourselves continually to the ministry of prayer and of the word <laughs> is god blessing someone first corinthians chapter 1 and verse 24 show us the ancient path will you lead us along eternal highway we want to follow the ways of jesus we want to enter your rest show us the ancient path will you lead us along eternal highway we want to walk in the ways of Jesus. We want to enter your rest. Everybody, please read what you can see there if you can find it. Are you ready? One, two, read. But unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God. One more time. But unto them, uh -huh. I want to teach you something. These two dimensions you see are the children of the ministry of prayer and the ministry of the word. Please, that every time you engage in prayer and you engage in the word what you will get as a result of both encounters is an anointing but that that anointing is expressed in two dimensions the anointing that comes from the ministry of prayer reveals itself as the power of God dunamis but the anointing that comes from the ministry of the word expresses itself as the power of god authority exousia the capacity to delegate by reason of intelligence follow very carefully now the bible says to everyone who is called when the anointing is revealed through those ministries you will experience two things the power of god and the wisdom of god he said it is still christ that is revealed the word Christ there means the anointing. That means if I submit myself to the ministry of prayer, there is a dimension of the anointing that will be derived from that ministry. Dunamis. I will see the workings of the power of God in my life. 
but that does not mean I will have the spiritual intelligence to walk in victory so I can be a powerful man of God able to pray and the sick will be healed and I will be poor I will be broke I may not understand the principles of leadership the devil can take my life any day because they know not neither will they understand as far as prayer is concerned i can submit myself to pray and because there is an anointing that is derived from the ministry of prayer so we have many powerful people who do not have the requisite level of spiritual intelligence to overcome the evil that comes with the day very anointed but there is a bankruptcy of spiritual intelligence then the Bible talks about the wisdom of God that comes from the word of God are we together now there are people who neglect the ministry of prayer and they have the wisdom of God when you listen to them you will hear intelligent truths but the power to defend that proposition is not there they can tell you what God can do they can tell you beautiful things i know this god i'm serving and show you mysteries after mystery but when the time for performance comes the grace to make what they have said become flesh is no longer there are we learning remember what we are dealing with i hope we're still together that we will give ourselves continually to the ministry of prayer and to the ministry of the word that both ministries there are two distinct kind of anointings that must be derived from those ministries and they are equally important for the maturity and the excelling of the believer can i tell you the disaster that we have in church today respectfully is largely as a result of these imbalances when it has to do with the power dimension it is usually the apostolic and the prophetic ministry and because power seems to have a, char a charismatic quality usually people just submit themselves to prayer and they do not understand doctrine and the soundness of the word as a result many supernatural things happen within the ministry but with it will come various shades of error for instance calling somebody's wife a witch because of prophecy you see you you may be by reason of prayer your eyes have been opened to see spiritual things but the word bank that interprets it to align with scripture is not there so you will keep bringing a lot of confusion in interpretation because what you saw was correct but your interpretation was wrong it depended on your word bank which is not there are we together so God can open my eyes for instance prophetically by reason of engaging in the ministry of prayer and I can see maybe a coffin and see someone's name written there now it is true what I saw is a revelation of what Satan wants to bring to that family it now depends on my knowledge of scripture to prove the dominion of the power of God over that situation if all i know is prayer i will interpret it the way i saw oh god i just saw you you are dying because that is the limit of what the power of god can do but if you understand that the testimony of jesus is the spirit of prophecy that means in anything prophetic you do it must testify about jesus there must be that life-giving component in what you are saying it will now alter my interpretation of that experience in a way that demonstrates the victory that is in Christ there is no limit to the casualties we will keep having in the body of Christ as a result of choosing one or the other of these ministries on the other hand you may have people who have that wisdom they will build intelligent systems but the sick will remain sick the oppressed will remain oppressed people will come and sing and share the grace and everybody will say God can do it there's sickness in my body oh he's a healer oh this chapter this verse this this chapter this verse this and the demons are sitting at ease and joining the service too because the power that takes them is not there 
can i tell you it is very dangerous to know what should be and not have the power to make it happen sooner or later members will get tired that is the truth like it's happening in many many assemblies right now to the point that when we men of god now say lift up your hands for blessings members know that look i'm used to this your talk wisdom there is no power i don't doubt the truthfulness of what you are saying but can i for god's sake have a testimony that becomes a consolation to all you are saying are we together the danger of the prayer ministry without a sound word based is all shades of error that largely comes because of the prophetic inclination of the ministry of prayer for instance in the place of prayer god can give me an instruction and say joshua selman for the next five years you are not going to have more than two cars that came to me by prayer it is my personalized dealing with god if i do not understand the character of scripture i will turn that unique instruction into a doctrine and force all the members that anybody who has more than two cars you are walking in error based on my experience and what is largely destroying the body of christ is we are converting personalized dealings and instructions into that is wrong you see if i come up with that template it is only the person who is called into the apostolic or the prophetic ministry who would benefit from the template i'm giving the person who is now called to be a politician and a businessman he will feel intimidated because it will look like he's not serious with god let me teach you something you see when you are building people holistically by the ministry of prayer and the word are we still here i hope i've not lost you the word of god gives a general ground for growth but as you begin to grow based on whatever your destiny is in christ the holy ghost begins to allocate your own customized training the way he will train an apostle and a prophet is not the same way he would train a politician it's not the same way he, are you getting me now so i cannot say my template and my experience must be the alpha and the omega of how growth should be no god is training a young man see if god is calling me to be a prophet chances are you will find out that although we may start in the same prayer group or we may start in the same church as time goes on we will diverge to different unique dealings for the man who will later be a prophet you will find out that something will start changing in his appetite he can go for a 50 days fasting and not even know why there is an energizing upon him by reason of what he will be doing a businessman may not have that kind of engracing and now the businessman will be intimidated because he is forced to subscribe to the template of the prophet if we do not bring wisdom to the body of christ believe me when i tell you this people will keep pretending until we lose our stand spiritually the power of god and the wisdom of god. there are some of you here the more you pray and the more you fast you find out that you are having an unusual passion for education because there is a grace and if you do not understand how god builds men you may feel guilty and say why is it that it looks like the kind of passion my brother has for church and for prayer he can come and lie down on the altar here for one week whereas you there's a passion for you to go and get a phd form and go abroad and now you feel guilty not knowing that it is the allocation of your destiny that is calling you so the yardstick that measures spirituality in our world today is becoming a pastor are you seeing why there are many people in ministry today who are in ministry but not necessarily called as pastors but because that is the template they have been told they will leave the thing god asked them to do and become pastors because that they want to ease the guilt of looking like they are not serious spiritually because when you say those who are spiritual stand up 
usually it's the people who pray the politician you say what do they know about being spiritual businessman what do they know about being spiritual go and read the book of daniel and see that the person who represented the purposes of god there was a politician go and read the book of genesis and see that joseph who brought salvation to israel to egypt israel in egypt it was an economic solution that he preferred listen do you know why i'm teaching you this if you do not get this balance you will never see development come to gombe it is the error that has destroyed the north we are people of prayer but there is no development no advancement no nothing our children will leave god and go into something else and then if we do not rearrange this template there will come a generation that will not know this god we are crying about yes sir you've heard me say that there is one thing that is greater than the truth the whole truth if your truth is not the whole truth it can still destroy i've had the privilege to travel around by reason of what i do and when i go to cultures and regions i study cultures and i talk with people trying to get the understanding where we got our mindset from and for a long time in the body of christ and especially around the middle belt and the north as we call it there has been an emphasis on the evangelical dimension of christianity which is important that captures everything from salvation to morality and prayer and that is a very good background but we have hardly understood the principles that make for kingdom advance and territorial dominion the result is the current economic and sociological state of our society can i tell you you can be a prayer warrior but one policy by people who do not fear god can rubbish both you your church and your program in one day completely now we are beginning to reap the consequences of our carelessness and that's why god is putting platforms like this to give us intelligence to say hey you need both the wisdom and the power of god there are many many great men of god in this place you have tested the power of god listen let me tell you i have met men of god in my life i have met people some of them nobody knows about them but when you look at them you will see you can sense tremendous power there is the health of their energy by reason of investing in the prayer ministry but there is hardly the manifestation of the wisdom of god absolutely nothing works in their life nothing at all there is nothing in their life that can give you the desire to see that god is at work in this vessel or there may be a few things at work and with it comes a plethora of imbalances please listen to me believers i came with a burden and a passion more than miracles signs and wonders which are important we need to begin to contend for the ministry of the word that administers the wisdom of God the Bible says through wisdom a house is built by understanding it is established it says through knowledge the house the rooms are filled with every pleasurable thing can I tell you it will take wisdom to pay the school fees of your children husbands it will take wisdom for you to be an effective husband you can be a prayer warrior respectfully speaking but if you do not understand the principles of being a father a husband and a priest you can be so deep in prayer and yet you will wreck your home into pieces many of us here have come from homes with pain by well-meaning christian parents who had the power of god but did not have the wisdom of god 
and then on the other side of the pendulum we have people who have the wisdom of god and they even stretched it to the border their entire idea of christianity is intellectualism the moment you say pray pray five minutes they say oh no 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 there are no demons anywhere it's just your mind and all kinds of ideas come to downplay the ministry of prayer you fast fast for what and you find out that for these kinds of people they may have the wisdom of god but they later become frustrated because they keep proposing things that they do not have the power to defend jesus can give children they quote scripture from genesis to revelation now a barren woman stands before you and say man of god i was lured by your message and i perceive you are a powerful man of god in the name of jesus christ may that child come 10 years nothing has happened because there is the wisdom of God that communicates truth but the power of God that makes the word become flesh is not there is someone hearing me why am I teaching this the Lord put this in my heart please look at me many of you right now as you are seated here if I ask you to submit your prayer request right here you are sincere people some of you are workers in church some of you have prayer groups some of you are even pastors but you are finding out right now that you have high blood pressure it's not because you are not praying you are not fasting the financial bills on you the trouble to pay rent and venue and your wife is asking you and say this ministry thing we are doing i hope there is a plan for our children and it's now beginning to frustrate your own spiritual life you keep seeing the power of god but the wisdom that builds systems is not there Jesus did not just leave us his power alone. The same spirit that is called the power of God is also called the spirit of wisdom. I made up my mind as a man of God that I will not bring failure and reproach to my life by ignoring any dimension as recommended by Jesus and even the apostles. I can tell you most times when you see people who God has lifted, most times people believe they are just anointed you are right provided you can explain the dimension of the anointing there is the anointing that comes as the power of god but there is the anointing that comes as the wisdom of god i have met great men and women of god for instance i'm using ministry just as, as an example and based on what i saw in their lives the nation should be hearing them but the wisdom that makes for growth and influence they do not have yet they are genuinely powerful greater than the joshua selmans by reason of their sacrifices but the wisdom for growth is not there and there are sincere people i have had people come to me and say apostle i spent time studying the word there is no man of god whose message i have not listened to why are things not working in my life because you have accessed the wisdom of god but can i tell you when it has to do with advancement it is power that moves you forward say unto god how terrible art thou in thy ways it is through the greatness of thy power that thy enemies submit themselves now listen carefully what part have you chosen you can know what part you've chosen by the consequences around your life right now for some of you as you are seated you love the lord sincerely but you are almost giving up on ministry because you are saying lord this is not fair i've kept myself holy i've loved you all my life i even have a prayer group or i have been part of the prayer band in my church for 10 years and there is nothing in my life people look at you and say this is your christianity that does not have proof you are the first to shout and pray you are the first to run and go for night vigil but is it that god does not love you even unbelievers are moving forward there is something wrong with your equation you have accessed the power of god but you probably have neglected the wisdom of god and there are others who are full of philosophies they will argue everything they will show you scripture after scripture but when it has to do with the performance of the word you can see someone who the devil has oppressed them you can see patterns of witchcraft within the family but the power to break it and set them free is not there 
oh in the name of jesus be free and you you too you will know that that person is not free and you know members members can be funny even when they know that nothing touched them they will just respect you and say amen and move and go to where they know they will find a real solution because they are afraid of you they won't tell you that they prayed for me here they'll just say is that your prayer and you too will be surprised because you know that with what you have oh, results should not come from that kind of prayer please hear me brothers and sisters my assignment tonight is to show you where we are missing it so that Gombe can become a place of fire listen a place of power a place of spiritual economic political sociological development that is the full counsel of God it should not just be that we have prayer warriors who are poor who are broke who are weak who are not doing anything men who cannot take care of their wives women who have to go into prostitution or unfaithfulness because they are trying to look for money somewhere that is sabotaging the counsel of God may our children not become arm robbers while we are praying because of sheer hardship and may we not have a society that is full of intellectual people who downplay the power of God there must be that balance we will give ourselves continually somebody say continually so businessmen must give themselves continually to the ministry of prayer and the word politicians must give themselves continually to the ministry of prayer and the word men and women of god must give themselves continually to the ministry of prayer and the word academicians give themselves continually so the professor has the wisdom part and he can see a student who is failing and because he also has the power of god he can say i'm looking at you and you said your father you are the first to rise in your family this is not an issue of not understanding my cause. Lock my door. Come. I know what to do for you. Because he has both the wisdom and the power of God. So you are not just an intellectual. When you see that the situation demands the power of God, you put on your priestly regalia and say, don't confuse that I'm a vice chancellor. I'm also anointed. There is an anointing there. Are you seeing that now? Listen. And there are times that people will come and tell you my life is not moving forward i love the lord you know what is missing that he has gotten the power of god but what he needs is the wisdom of god you can now give him a few teachings like a doctor will give a patient a drug take panadol or take this two in the morning two in the afternoon you can submit them the person to a teaching to go and learn the principles that now make him a responsible father in addition to a prayer warrior an empowered man when you are empowered and anointed the devil is in trouble hear me for as long as we keep having different pieces of the truth and fighting ourselves the devil is happy because he can use either of us for his benefit he will come to the power people and cause them to be full of pride by reason of the charismatism around their results and they will not pay attention to the ministry of the world what do i need the word for after all i have power and then the intellectuals who say don't mind all these people they are just daft people who are just only god knows where they got power from and the devil the devil rejoices over that imbalance and that confusion but in gombe tonight there is a generation rising that will give themselves continually to the ministry of prayer and the ministry of the word please sit down there are many things that prayer achieves in the life of the believer and there are many things that the word of god achieves in the life of the believer i may not have time to run all of them but let me just walk you through one or two at least for tonight what is in the word of god please write why do i need to access the word of god 
the word of God is a compendium of the ways of God please write it down the word of God is a compendium of the ways of God Psalms 103 and verse 7 please ah something is happening here tonight believe me something is happening here tonight he made known his ways unto Moses and the Bible says his acts do you know what the acts are the results the manifestation that's what Israel saw but Moses knew the ways the methodologies of the kingdom please look up what do you gain when you give yourself to the ministry of the word primarily the wisdom of God but the wisdom of God manifests as helping you understand what we call the mysteries of the kingdom please say after me the mysteries of the kingdom Matthew chapter 13 and verse 11 Jesus was teaching and he said it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven what are mysteries a mystery is a hidden code of operation that is privy to a group of people I have there we have a beautiful military and police force outside when you come among the police and the military they have languages that except you're a policeman or you are in the force you will not understand is that true with respect to you what you are hearing are mysteries there are secret communications when you go to the lawyers the legal people they can say certain things latin words certain codes and it is a mystery to you if you are not in the legal practice in this kingdom listen carefully we have mysteries the mysteries are the secrets of the kingdom by which we rise we call them mysteries if you want to experience growth in this kingdom there is a mystery that controls it you want to experience influence there is a mystery that controls it you want to enjoy economic blessings there is a mystery that controls it you want to enjoy restoration there is a mystery that controls it can i tell you this your assignment as a believer in accessing the word and the wisdom of god is to fish out all of these mysteries and hold them like keys and when you stand before that door you know the key that opens it are you getting blessed this is very powerful man of god your church will not just grow because god sent you there is a mystery that controls growth dear politician you would not just rise and have people vote you just because you are well intentioned there is a mystery that controls influence and acceptance young man you will not just be established because you are saving money to buy land there is a mystery that gives you the grace for territory man of god gombe will not listen to you just because you are sincere there is a hear ye him anointing and if that grace is not upon you you can be well intentioned and you will be surprised that even your own brethren will not hear you question what do you not know because it is by these mysteries we do business in deep waters you can you can command results that are super ordinary supernatural by reason of these mysteries is someone learning please look up many of you believe in the ministry of destiny help us and many of you believe that God can empower someone to come and hold your hands and help you but how many of you know that everybody on earth is busy focusing on their own destinies so what do you think will make them forget about themselves and focus on you you think it's ordinary no there is a mystery that controls that favor is God helping us now so you see that it's not about being good or bad no the mystery
I made up my mind that I would learn the truths of the kingdom that will grant me the wisdom and you see let me tell you this when it has to do with the mysteries of the kingdom they are able to deliver to you your inheritance in Christ here's what the Bible says Acts chapter 20 and verse 32 it says and now brethren I commend you to God and to the word of his grace the Bible says it is able to build you up and then number two it is able to deliver to you an inheritance among them that are sanctified that means you are a man of God here and God has destined for you that through your life there will be revival in Gombe through your life God will come and bless and lift the youth you will be surprised old age can catch up with you and you can pass on to glory and not even save on to up to 100 people because there is a mystery you have ignored can I tell you this when I was starting ministry or when I began my work with God because of the nature of how God visited us those days on campus it was a marvelous move of God our focus was just on prayer and all of this but a time came when I had an encounter and this was when God began to teach me this and say son I am taking you far there are many other things you need to learn I remember there were many people those days on campus I called their attention lovingly and I said gentlemen we have submitted ourselves we have built capacity in prayer but the Lord is telling me there are other dimensions we have neglected and if we don't pay attention to them they will affect us in the future because what we don't take out the time to learn I tell you sincerely and I don't say it to be sarcastic some of these people are not even in ministry today because the areas they neglected Satan used it to destroy them imagine that as I've come here right now I don't have food to eat and my family is not in place because I, I, I ignored learning the mystery that controls economic empowerment now that the prophetic is upon my life do you know chances are excellent that i would deviate into error because of hunger because i ignored understanding the financial principles of the kingdom for instance i can be a sincere man of god but when you see your loved ones crying you wouldn't know when you would do something you never believed you would, you could do that's what you see you see a lot of people who started well as at the time the man started pursuing the lord he was maybe a young boy in primary school or secondary school or maybe in college somewhere now he's married with four children responsibilities have come and you will find out that compromises begin to come because the day you watch your wife and your children cry and say man of god i know you are a prophet but we are hungry something is wrong the troubles and the battle you are watching your children about to die and you don't have the money for a simple medical thing now you have the prophetic you will come to our dear politicians the devil will deceive you into coming to meet them and say ah her excellency is here why don't you use this prophetic and do something and get 500,000 out are you seeing that this is what has birthed a lot of compromises hear what I'm telling you if you want to last embrace the whole counsel of God if you ignore any area that area you ignore will be the strength of satan in your life tomorrow when it is time to pray and fast pray and fast like everything depends on it when it is time to access the wisdom of god and you see you can pray immediately but you are not transformed immediately transformation takes a long time is why a lot of believers the bible says in the latter days some they will not endure sound doctrine it takes stamina to sit down and learn the ways of God it's why many young people will want to go into ministry the moment they pray a little revelation here and there somebody is shouting in their meeting they are set for ministry and they fire like ignorant foxes into a forest and they find out that in two weeks they preach all the messages they have and now they are wondering what in the world do I do because you see when you start the prayer group the 10 people with you are all sincere people but by the time they become 100 thieves have come wicked people have come 
witches and wizards have joined the church now you need the wisdom of god but because you didn't pay attention to it you keep praying until they steal all your money until the witches and wizards destroy you and neglecting the whole counsel of god i hope you are learning i'm not just being sarcastic and there is no tell them here god is speaking to everybody are we together the first crusade that we ever had that I had as a man of god it was we were not many in the crusade ground in all honesty i'm not sure we we're more than 50 but it was a powerful crusade the sick were healed many things happened but can i tell you the truth i did not understand the principles of influence to be able to make an intelligent publicity i did the best that we could do with what i thought was my knowledge we prayed and fasted as if i would not even see again The few people that came were healed and it was a great start but not much could be done and now we hired sound from Kaduna and after they finished the crusade it was time for the bills now I stood there frustrated I'm, I'm see I quoted scripture these guys were going to embarrass me I said I'm not a thief I fear God will I come and preach and you know when you are preaching in a crusade ground you are shouting about the God of all possibilities and the sound people you are owing are listening to you while you are preaching they are waiting for the, the crusade and the sick are healed and everybody would have gone and I stood there I had to liaise with the drivers I said take my people back to Zaria by the time you get to Zaria, that the transport money will be there. And I said, God, this can't be it. No, there's something about you. I take responsibility. There is something I do not know. There's no point arguing you are God. You are God all by yourself. You see, let me tell you, if you want to see all of God, take responsibility early. Stop blaming people and blaming this and say, there is something I do not know, period. The more you are humble and meek, the word of God can come to you and it was after that encounter I went back and God began to open to me when you read the Bible it says add to your faith this add to this this add to this this it makes you complete and I learned that principle I said father I don't want to be the man of God who will come and manipulate people tomorrow I have a covenant with God that I will do ministry with integrity I don't want a situation where I see politicians and see people or our dear men and women of God. Imagine that out of my pain now, I'm looking for say one million naira. I will now prophesy to you and I will say, look, I know what is in your account. And I'm not lying. I will abuse the prophetic because of hunger. Can I tell you, even if you are a prophet, when there is no food, you will die. Genesis 42 from verse 1 and 2. Let the Bible speak. I'm not just talking about financial issues I am saying our gospel must be holistic to affect both the hearts of men and the strata of society now Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt is it there in your Bible Jacob said to his sons why do ye look upon one another please read verse 2 if you are a Christian one two read and he said behold I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. Get you down hither and buy for us from thence that we may live. Even a prophet will die when there is no corn. Can I tell you, there is only one reason God's covenant people go to Egypt. Hunger. Hunger can take a believer from the place of integrity to a place of bondage. Hunger can literally take even the child of a prophet to Egypt. How did they become slaves in Egypt? It was hunger that took them there. Let's be careful so that our children will not renounce the faith on their way to Egypt because of hunger. Let's be careful so that we don't put pressure on men of God to begin to compromise because of bills and trouble let's be careful so we don't begin to double christianity and witchcraft all in a blind search for results you can embrace the whole counsel of god and become a person of dexterity and balance blessed in every area 
can i tell you god can visit you in every area and give you rest roundabout you become a better portrait of what he can do genesis 24 1. we'll soon pray now show us the ancient path will you lead us along eternal highway we want to follow the ways of jesus we want to enter your rest and abraham please keep it there was old and well stricken in age and the lord had blessed him in all things how many things man of god god can bless you in every area now let me tell you this you are here and you are not given to the ministry of prayer with fasting there is a dimension of discernment and growth that you can never have no matter you can quote scriptures and just flatter yourself and the power of performance will not be there it is in the place of prayer that you build discernment it is in the place of prayer that you build the capacity to endure the days that come when people begin to criticize you by reason of the anointing you carry have you built the stamina to endure and still love that is the ministry of prayer the, the primary assignment of prayer is not for petitions is for your growth and transformation by the time the powers of darkness mandated by satan to attack your integrity whether you are in ministry whether you are in politics i hope you know that the moment you declare that you are standing for jesus and becoming a light you have drawn a line between you and the devil it's not until you are a preacher anyone at all who will name the name of christ i assure you satan will come after you it will take stamina and capacity if jesus did not pray and fast for that long he may not be able to do well with it is written the force that powered it is written was derived in the place of prayer dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaskate bashkana kata branda kate katos. Kate branda kata pakotos koto breke teke nekata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.